This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Wednesday, February 20th, 2013. Today in the news, fireball sighted in Florida, meteor or just another UFO. Russian central banker slams vast criminal cash exports. And China says U.S. hacking accusations lack technical proof. A meteor fireball lit up the sky over Florida's eastern coastline Sunday night, but fortunately it was nothing like the meteor that hit Russia on Friday. Florida's fireball that could be seen along the coast from Miami to Jacksonville was much smaller. Small meteorites are not unusual, but the reason why the fireball caused such a stir in Florida Sunday night is because it was bigger than most. Hmm, definitely some suspicious activities going on in the skies lately. Maybe Maybe the government is trying to cover something up and really we are slowly being invaded by aliens. You never know. Russia central bank chief said that nearly 50 billion dollars or 2.5 percent of the national income had been sent abroad illegally in 2012. Much of it controlled by a single group of people whom he did not identify. Oh, let me guess. The findings by the Bank of Russia, one of the country's most respected institutions, is a direct accusation of lawlessness and corruption in the system of Kremlin capitalism that has developed under President Vladimir Putin. Sergei Ignatiev, the chairman of Bank of Russia, said that more than half of the flows involved firms linked to each other. Well, I guess it's good to see that all is business as usual in Russia. Putin is pretending to be tightening controls on illegal money flows, but in reality the Russian president is in full control as he pretty much owns all the companies. Lucky for Mr. Gnatsev, he is retiring anyways, which I guess is the reason he felt safe to speak to the media. Accusations by a U.S. computer security company that a secretive Chinese military unit is likely behind a series of hacking attacks are scientifically flawed and hence unreliable, says China's defense ministry. I mean, what do we expect him to say? Yes, we did it because we are secretly planning to annihilate the U.S. and then take control of the world? The security company Mandiant identified the People's Liberation Army's Shanghai-based unit 61398 as the most likely driving force behind the hacking. Apparently, the unit had stolen hundreds of terabytes of data from at least 141 organizations across a diverse set of industries beginning as early as 2006. But the Chinese Defense Ministry said China's own figures show that a considerable number of hacking attacks it is subject to come from the United States. Oh well, one or two hacks here and there, right, to keep the playing field even? I'm Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world, as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.